Hello folks, this is Detroit Miracle and I'm coming back to you. Oh yeah. Right now I am here to review the first two episodes of Star Wars The Acolyte. And I'm not going to try to reveal too much to all of you because I don't want to spoil the fun when you watch it. That's if, in fact, you decide to watch it. Well, so here we go. The The first couple of episodes appear to be about a mysterious dark force user that is killing targeted Jedi Knights. And she's a woman warrior. It appears as though she is the acolyte. And they briefly showed her master which um, appeared to be a Sith Lord or Dark Force user of some sort. So one might assume that the Sith are involved in this particular story pertaining to the title character called the Acolyte. Now the whole two episodes are about a cat and mouse like chase where the Jedi are trying to track down this killer who appears to be killing Jedi masters. Yeah, and there are set conditions on the ways that she's allowed to kill those masters because she is not allowed to use a lightsaber, apparently, but she does use certain types of dagger weapons that she throws, and these Jedi Knights are experienced. They have been highly trained, and they mastered the Force, so it's like a trick that she must come up with ways to assassinate them, apparently, based on those episodes. And, of course, it's the same cliche where good battles evil and, and evil has this design set on some kind of devious scheme. And it appears as though the acolyte is being used as some kind of pawn for either the Sith or some rogue Jedi that turned to the dark side. I must say that I found the first two episodes to be very entertaining. They're like up pace thrill rides with nice action. The story seems to be moving someplace with the action as well. And the characters seem to have some type of camaraderie or chemistry being that of the Jedi Knights that are involved with the and this other type of Jedi Knight that was apparently kicked out of the order because of attachment reasons like she's the principal characters are two females one is good one is evil and both both are in fact twins that have a strong connection to the force and one of course is good and the, and the other is evil so that is the that seems to be the premise for the first two episodes of the acolyte you know, so I found it entertaining enough to keep watching the series, which is said to have six more episodes to it, six or seven. So now my disappointment is in the, the first two episodes is I expected it to primarily focus on the Sith order and the dark side of the force because that was promised to the fans that this series will entirely focus on the Sith and the order of the dark side or the dark side of the force in general. But you don't see much of that in the first two episodes. So I suppose you have to wait around and be hopeful. Now, would I recommend people watching it? I would say, yeah, it's entertaining enough to keep watching but i expected more so don't set your sights too high up like you know expecting to see too much it's phenomenal stuff in the first two episodes like you know you might be expecting to see a sith castle with all types of stored ancient dark side magic and teachings and stuff then you might even expect to see a dark side school that was set up by the Sith to train warriors in secret. If you expect to see that, you're not going to see it, or at least not through the first two episodes. So, you know, I I must say that 
I expected more and hope for more, but I'm going to keep watching in case my expectations are met or there is disappointment in the show by not, well, by not having it live up to my expectations, rather. Yeah, that's a good particular way to phrase that and overstate it, but I'm going to stick around a little bit and watch it. But, you know, I like I said, I expected a lot of phenomenal stuff in the first two episodes. And I know it's going to be some backlash because the the principal characters in it are women and then one is evil, one is good. So we got it. I, and I don't mind if, if they cast a lot of women in Star Wars films or series as long as it has great action, good lightsaber dudes and a good story. You know, I must say, so I'm not caught up in all of that woke stuff and and oh, I think um that they're having they're um casting too many women in the Star Wars thing and 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 with this is going to be some backlash as far as the principal characters being black females. So you know, the critics and skeptics are gonna yell woke is woke from the start. You know, but it does have a a complete cast of different characters of different races. And then, you know, the one of the more prominent good guys is a male Asian guy who was a, uh, apparently a former master of one of the principal good characters, which is the, the woman who's um, a force user, but she's not evil like her twin sister who's out killing Jedi. So I would say, Hey, hope for the best. But don't set your expectations too high where you are disappointed if it doesn't live up to what you expected or hoped it would. But yeah, tune in to at least, well, I would say watch the first two episodes and at least tune in to the third one. All right, folks, thanks for tuning in. Now, I hope you all give me those likes, comments, and please subscribe to my channel which is detroit miracle watch all the content on there and please tune in for future content thank you